Hey, Radical fans. Today's Radical Rundown is a, a question that was written in and asked us, what weight ball should I use? Well, you know, there's a lot of schools and a lot of chains of thought on that one. And one of them is, you know, use a ball that you can control. The weight of the ball has to be uh, effortless. You should not have to struggle with that weight. But you also have to have a weight of the ball where at the bottom of the swing, you actually are able to feel it and, and be able to hit it and hit it consistently. Um, too light a ball, you're probably, you may be swinging through it, uh, overthrowing it, um, increasing your rev rate but throwing the ball too hard. There's a lot of different things that go into that. So you want a combination of a hit and, and power and release. And, that, and that's a ball weight that you have to try. It's trial and error. If you're not sure, it's going to become trial and error. Uh, too heavy a ball, you're probably going to have trouble generating speed and getting your hand around it. Too light a ball, you're probably going to be throwing it through the break point. You might be ripping the cover off it, but the fact that you threw it so hard, the ball never had a chance to slow down. So you have to have a ball that comes off your hand. It, it, it is controllable. You can feel it in your swing, but it's not overbearing. Uh, a lot of people that drop from 15 to 14s, they have trouble feeling it in their swing. You know, the, the, the weight drop is so dramatic for them. Uh, there aren't a lot of people throwing 16-pound balls nowadays because the dynamics of a 15-pound ball and 16 are very similar. That's not the issue. Uh, the same thing when you drop from 15 to 14, you can create the same dynamics if you increased your rev rate, for instance. Um, that you didn't have with a 15 pound ball. And even though you threw it a little harder, you may become better matched 14 to, 15, to 14 pound versus 15 pound. You become better matched in your ball speed and your rev rate. But you have to do it with trial and error. You have to feel comfortable with it. Um, other than going out and trying to find the ball that somebody had maybe and getting it plugged if it's lighter weight and just go throw it and see how it feels in your hand, it's hard to tell what you're gonna be comfortable with. So as a rule of thumb, we tell people to try to use the heaviest ball you can control comfortably. Um, you know, people say a 15-pound ball hits harder than a 14-pound ball, a 16-pound ball hits harder than a 15-pound ball. Does you no good if you can't control it. So you have to be able to control it, you have to be able to feel it, and you have to go to the heaviest weight that you can control comfortably. That's today's Radical Rundown. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.